Hello, third graders. All right, so you should have drawn your dinosaur by now. This is my dinosaur, Stegosaurus. Um, and now what I'm wondering is, I'm sure you guys all drew really cool dinosaurs, but how did you know what a dinosaur looked like? Have you ever seen a dinosaur before? You're probably thinking, oh, I've seen pictures of dinosaurs, or I've seen dinosaurs drawn in books, or I saw a dinosaur at a museum, and all of those things would be true. But then I want you to stop and think, how did those people know what dinosaurs look like? Dinosaurs existed millions of years ago. No one saw a dinosaur. There are no pictures of dinosaurs from that time. The only reason we know what a dinosaur looks like is because of fossils. Scientists have been able to find dinosaur bones, fossils, and skeletons and reconstruct them and figure out what a dinosaur looked like. So today I have a book to share with you called Fossil about a dinosaur bone. This is written by and illustrated by Claire Ewer. And the only reason that we know that there was a dinosaur that looked like this is because of the fossil bones that scientists have found. I found a stone that was once a bone. Thin bone, framing skin stretched tight, spread to warm in dawn's first light. Wings extend as dawn gives way, gliding, flapping into day. Strong bone, skimming salty breeze, scooping squid from teeming seas. Fleet bone, fleeing jagged teeth of hungry jaws that snap beneath, screeching, beating, wings repeating, rhythms woven into bone, stretch for sky and reach for home. Weary bone, wingtips grazing wave and foam, gliding toward an island home. Gullet full as day is done, salty prey to feed her young. Then wrap wings close through primal night. Stretch at dawn, again take flight. Until one day, old bone, tired bone cannot rise to slip again through amber skies. And so the dinosaur dies and is sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Still bone, silent bone, living days done, but millions of days are yet to come. Silt berries presses down until bone is embraced. So there you can see the dinosaur skeleton being buried under all of the dirt. Mineral seep through the ground and slowly bone is replaced. And this happens over millions of years. Then wind follows rain and time is erased until I find a stone that was once a bone. So those are some beautiful illustrations of dinosaurs. And the only reason that we know what these dinosaurs look like is because of all the fossil dinosaur bones that people have found. All right, the next, well, before we go on to the next part, actually, um, there are some things that a dinosaur bone can, t or a fossil can tell us, and some things that a fossil can't tell us. So while I was reading this book, were you thinking of any things that, any of the things that we could learn about um, animals from their fossils? Well, I was thinking that the reason we know the shape of this animal is because we know the shape of its skeleton, because of the fossils that we found. And, and I was also thinking that because of the fossil bones, we could figure out things about how the environment has changed. So when it an o used to be an ocean, but now it's uh, land without water. So those are some things that fossils can tell us, but there are some things that fossils can't tell us. So when I look at these pictures, I think about what the author used 
her imagination to do because the picture doesn't, I mean, the fossils can't tell us. Does anyone have any ideas what the fossil couldn't tell us? Yeah, the fossil couldn't tell us what the skin felt like, or the fossil couldn't tell us what color the dinosaur was. So those things are all things that we use our imagination for because we don't know. I didn't color my Stegosaurus in yet, but there's a couple things I could think about to use my imagination, things that scientists do. Um, a lot of animals use camouflage. So I could find out where this Stegosaurus lived, and it lived, if it lived in a jungle, let's say, I might color it in green and browns because that would help it blend in with its surroundings. We also know that some animals use bright colors to defend themselves against predators. So um, I know there's animals that are brightly colored instead of using camouflage. So maybe the Stegosaurus was a bright red color. We don't know. So those are things you can use some scientific knowledge for, but you can also use your imagination to figure out the colors because fossils can't give us that information. The next thing I want you guys to do is there's one more video, but it's a fun game that I made up. Um, if we were at Pinewood, I would give you some fossils to touch and pass around and hold, but we can't do that um, since you guys are at home. So I made a slideshow that you can go through and it's a video, you'll just click on it and watch it. But as we go, try to guess what the fossils are. I found some very cool pictures of fossils and you can try to figure out what fossil you're looking at when you look at the fossils. All right, have fun and stay curious.